Tining an Tuharuch or Ahayim Siman Nun Hey. We're doing the final Sif here, Sif Kafbet. En Kofin la Skir la Hashlim Minyan Ki Im Bayamim Anuraim. We mentioned in the previous Sif that An Yamim Nuraim, Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. If you don't have minyan, people could, this is considered because there is a clear minhag, the people daven betzibur, on Rosh Hashanah and Kippur, it's considered as basic need of community that one could basically halachically forcefully uh, convince the other ones that everyone should pay and chip in for uh, creating a minyan, not necessarily um, like other needs that you don't coerce a community, the basic needs of community, you could actually use um, halachic force that everyone should really participate in the creation of the minyan on yamim noraim, says the shukhan aruch, uchgon she'en chaserim ki'im ehad o shenaim. We're only talking about the case in which they are missing one or two. Unless you have a clear minhag in the town that even for three, four or more people, you will still pay for, for hiring people. The general understanding is that one or two, you're eight people, you're nine people, fine. So you, you pay, you get everyone to ship in, you bring a new person in. You bring two people in, but three already is too much. Um, Unless you have a clear minhag in town that regardless of how many people and regardless of how much money, we are getting the minyan here, that's, then you have a clear minhag. But without a clear minhag, up to two people would be hired and you could expect the community to pay for it. Im yesh, if you have a minyan from the people who live in the residence of the city, then you could force to have a chazan as well. And the Rema adds, in a place that you don't always necessarily have a minyan in Bet Knesset, if you have the minyan, but they're not necessarily coming to show up, you could make knas on each other that they should show up to the minyan. And basically that would be a, a way of forcing that the minyan should be forming every morning. Shelo it batel hatamid, that the proper filabet sibur on a constant basis should not be nullified. Ve'ayel kaman resh siman, you know, the halachot of building a Bet Knesset is something that we're going to come to when we get to the Yilchot Bet Knesset in Sivan Kufnun. Says the Mishnah Buram, people, then you could force, um, they could force each other to pay, each one of them to pay a share in order to bring one or two more people to, to, to complete the Minyan, even if you have three or four bale batim, if they have servants, they have people who live bored with them, even though that they don't live there. In other words, imagine if you have three, four people who are residents of the city, but there's a boarding school there. So there are other Jews that are boarding with them. They're not living there. They're not considered residents of that city. But you have 10 people that are right now there. That is considered the minyan, and they could then force each other to have a chazan. In order to, to you know, properly daven for them. That is something that you could enforce every day of the year. It's not only for Yamim Nuraim. You need a chazan during the year as well. Now, Hatamid, this that the Ramah says that people could knas, put fines within the community. Maj says you don't you don't show up to the tefillah. Every day you don't show up, you have to pay whatever hurts, you know. 
50, $50, right? Because once you have minyan of people that live there, you have the obligation of having a minyan. You have 10 people living there, so you're obligated to have a mitzibur now. In smaller communities, you should force the youngsters and the people who learn that they should go to the place that they don't have always because the time of Torah is separate and the time of Tefillah is separate. So Gemara in the name of, I think, Rava says this in Masech Shabbat of Yud, I believe it is. In larger kilot, a person should daven in the place that they learn. In other words, if you have um, a morning gemarashi, you should daven in the same place. You should not be going somewhere else. That becomes your makom kavua for tefillah during the week. Um, as the gemara has it, we had this in Masachet Brachot, actually, the Rav Amir, Rav Asi, they had 13 Bet Knesset in their neighborhood, and yet they would only daven in the Bet Midrash where they learned. According to many Rishonim, it means the Gemara is saying that they daven be Yachid. They didn't daven be Tzibur. They, they preferred to daven be Yachid. But again, halachically, we don't pass in like that. Uh, it just comes to, to show you the importance that the person should be learning, uh, should be davening rather, where they learn. Because there you have already a tzibur, even without that. In a small group that everyone is needed for having a minyan, then it's a different story. Amru Chazal, the Gemara says in Masachat Brachot, we're going to have this mamash uh, very soon. The Gemara says Masachat Brachot Afem Zayin, Shurabi Eliezer, Rabbi Eliezer came uh, to Bet Knesset and he didn't find Minyan over there. And says the Gemara, he freed his Evid, but they were not counted as, as Minyan unless you made them Evid and Shukhra, then, then they become like a full fledged Jew. So he, even though that there is an Isur of, of, uh, of freeing that, the Evan in that way for no reason, but he did it because of Sorech of Mitzvah. So you see how important it is to have Minyan at Filah Bet Sibur. We don't want to dive in behind. Shikhrer Avdov Ishlimo La Asara. Kedel Otsi Rabim Yedek Ovatam Bikdusha. In order for people to be able to have um, Kedisha and Kedusha, Mizel Nilmo de Koshken, Shloit Asel Adam, Betircha Balma, the Kabetz Minyan at Filah. You see from here, you shouldn't be lazy to go to Minyan, to complete the Minyan. How important it is for a person to, especially in those challenging communities, you should be mindful of this to make sure that the Minyan is always there. The Gemara there, the same place says, that if you're for one of the 10 first people who come to shul, you get sachar equivalent to every other person that comes there that day. Um, that, that's a tremendous thing. And Kol Sheken goes for the, this person that is working hard to make sure that there is minyan in a place that otherwise wouldn't be. And the Gemara says in Chazal, in Masechet Yumad, of Pezayin, Amud Aleph, the Gemara there says, Kolam mezaket ha-rabim en chet ba'al yado. When you create schut for rabim, en chet ba'al yado. When a person creates a situation that you didn't have minyan without him, and he went out of his way to call people to make sure that there's minyan, that's the schut of, of people that, of course, has been created by him. and he is he has a guarantee that Hashem does not let him even um, unintentionally pass an avera. So that's a great schud for him to have. Now we're going to be starting Bezat Hashem in the upcoming days. 
the halachot of Kaddish. The siman that we're going to start, siman nun vav, is basically all of the halachot of Kaddish are encapsulated in siman nun vav, and it is a very important siman because, um, as we know, the Gemara says, a person that answers, Amen Yeshem Rabbah Bekol Pocho, even if a person answers Amen Yeshem Rabbah with all of his, his power, which is Machloket Rashiyan to Safod, whether it means with all of your kavana or actually with loud voice. We, we do both of them and we say it with loud voice and we try to say it with kavana as well. The Gemara says, even if you have a 70 year decree of negativity, Chas Shalom, they tear it apart. Tremendous thing, you know. One Ameni Yeshem Rabbah could have so much power, and this is Gemara. It's not some uh, Segula Sefer from for, from two hundred years ago. This is tremendous, tremendous thing. So it's important to study, learn, and, and know the Halachot of Kaddish. Bezrat Hashem will continue this in the days to come.